Quiet! On the set! Kuya, may ari! Okay lang, 5 minutes na pause. Gusto ko talaga makapunta sa Europe because hindi ko pa siya napupuntahan. Yun lang talaga yung dahilan. I am in awe of every artist that I see on Instagram, mapa co-vloggers ko, makeup artists dito sa Pilipinas and sa ibang bansa. Whenever I scroll, uh, they give me inspiration. So in general, I really take inspiration sa traditional artists, yung mga nagdo-draw, paint, or any, actually any kind of art, any genre of art, and also makeup artists. This is based on experience because before I went into vlogging, I was a professional makeup artist and actually until now it's just that hindi lang ako nakakapag you know, clients and all. So one thing that I can give or yung tip na mabibigay ko sa mga aspiring makeup artist is to continue learning. Every day iba-ibang clients yung makakaharap niyo. Every day iba-ibang techniques yung dapat ninyong i-apply and so learning is actually the key to evolve and to better yourself as a makeup artist. So don't mind actually yung mga gamit. It will come as you go, as you work and as you build your kit, yung makeup kit niyo. But one thing na kailangan Kailangan nyo talagang pag-investan yung skill ninyo and yung craft ninyo sa makeup artistry. In the many years that I'm doing makeup, ironically, mas naging simple na yung personal look ko when it comes to my makeup. Mas naging simple, hence the glitters. Mas naging ano siya, more into Korean, more into freshness, into glitters, into sparkles. Pero hindi siya yung too heavy. And actually, my personal style, and I am pretty confident na alam ng marami yan na I am into doing makeup na wearable. And even if I transform myself, or even if I change some of the details of my face, nagiging ano pa rin siya, wearable. Kahit na ilabas mo siya, it's still good on camera and also in person. Rose is the translation of my name, Riza. And sabi ko, okay, to represent then myself and of course to represent my shade, it has to be Old Rose. So this shade is pinkish shade, a cool-toned mauve Old Rose shade. Pero hindi siya too bright, hindi rin naman siya too dark. It's actually something that wearable sa kahit sino and universal for every skin tone. Since Detail Cosmetics made its name in the local scene, in the beauty industry, wala talagang dahilan para mag -know because it is really a powerhouse. It provides affordable cosmetics, na quality for everyone. This is actually like the biggest opportunity for me since this is my first collaboration ever with a brand, with a beauty brand, and all the more na it's a local homegrown brand, and so I'm loving it. It's been fun. It's been such an experience. I was reunited with my friends in the industry. Ang saya na bumalik sa work and ang saya to be around with people that I love uh, to be around with. At saka, this is such a team na super fun to work with. Hi, I'm Raiza Kantawi and I'm living beauty in every detail. Quiet on the set. So sa nakikita nyo, wala pong nangyayari kasi resohan dito. Kuya, may ari! <laughs> okay lang, 5 minutes na pause. Kinabudge. <laughs> Uy, game na ba? Nag-roll na ba? <laughs> Detail. Sorry, wait! Wait lang! Ito <laughs> dun sa uh, bahaging parte ng mundo nyo. Ano daw? Ang gano'n sabi ko. <laughs> Guys, your love and support have been very massive and sobrang overwhelming in a good way. Kaya bago ako magsimula sa video na to, gusto ko munang pasalamatan lahat ng tumangkilik na ng Powder Pout Collection sa aming lahat, sa aming isang dosena at ng Detail Cosmetics. Maraming maraming salamat. Thank you sa mga nagbibigay ng feedback, good or bad. Everything is taken into consideration. It's a beautiful experience to improve on what we need to improve and to also keep what you guys have been loving thus far. So maraming maraming salamat again. And yeah, so welcome to the second part of the Powder Pout series video. And in this video, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung differences ng shades. And this will be the second out of three. And yung next and last will be uh, my tutorial using my shade. Hindi ko rin alam guys kung napapansin nyo, uh, pero ako ay mga three to four shades darker than my actual skin shade. Ipapakita ko sa inyo ha. Tignan 
Sige, puti. Oh. Pumuti kasi ako ngayon, sobrang namimiss ko mag-beach. As in, as in, kailangan ko na ng melanin sa katawan. Sa unang video, pinakita ko sa inyo yung individual swatches. So, if you haven't seen that, go ahead and check it out. And today, i-compare natin sila. And ipapakita ko sa inyo yung unique factors ng mga kulay. At uh, i-appreciate talaga natin yung bawat shade sa lipstick collection na ito. So, in the next um, coming videos, kung meron ako mga tutorials or kung meron man ako mga, I don't know, looks or mga videos, with my makeup, rest assured that I will be trying out each of the lipstick in this collection because every shade is such a wonderful shade and of course, I appreciate uh, my sisters in this collection. So, ayun! Meron tayong mga factor na dapat tignan pero medyo simplihan ko na, hindi yung elaborated color theory para mas maintindihan nating lahat. Nandito yung lightness or darkness ng shade or yung pagka-bright or yung pagka-deep ng shade. Let's say, a baby pink, nasa light yan. Kapag naman maroon, nasa deeper end or nasa darker end. And then, you also have the undertone and ito yung parang like the hint of color na nakikita ninyo or kung ano bang category siya. Nasa warm, nasa neutral ba, or nasa cool toned uh, category. Last but definitely not the least, nandiyan ang saturation kasi maaaring may dalawa kayong light pinks. Yung isa mas vivid, yung isa naman mas subdued or mas muted. Guys, itong thoughts ko syempre from my experience and kung ano man yung story behind the shade, kung bakit ito yung napili, of course, I'll leave the floor to the creator. I'm going to start with the shade Riza because of course, ito yung pinakakilala ko. This is an old rose shade with a hint of warmth. Kapag mas manipis yung layer, nandoon yung orange tones and as you build up the color, mas namalabas na itong mauve a color pink shade. And maganda ito dahil it gives you this radiant finish dahil nga ang natural color ng blush natin ay color pink because of our blood. This is also a nice shade kapag gusto mong mas maputi yung ipin mo at mas radiant or glowing ang iyong mukha. Itong shade ni Rai may pagka medium to deep pero more on the medium side. Parang itong uh, lips but better sa mga morena. Ito ay may pagka warm brown with a hint of red. And so may pagka cinnamon or clay uh, yung color niya. This is actually very perfect sa mga morena because Rai herself is a morena. And this would look very natural, very subdued. Pero hindi pa rin siya nagkukulang ng color. Um, hindi rin naman siya talagang agaw pansin. So this is a nice, you know, skin or lips but better sa deeper ang skin tones. Yung shade naman ni Ray, deep siya, pero hindi siya like too dark. But this is the deepest shade in this collection. I would describe this as a warm brown. Makikita mo yung orange undertone niya, but also makikita mo rin yung pagka-neutral niya. So, pwede siya sa, definitely, babagay ito sa mga medium ang skin tone, deep ang skin tone. Uh, magiging deep ito sa mga lighter ang complexion. If you want this fall vibe, if you want this parang, uh, parang medyo may pagka-dramatic. So, ito yung parang brunette or uh, chocolate shade. Candy shade is this beautiful warm rose shade or deep warm rose shade na may hints ng orange and red, making it parang a sangria color. And as you can see, kahit na dark na yung foundation ko, mas kumaangat pa rin yung kulay niya. So imagine, kung 2 to 3 shades darker kayo kesa sa balat ko ngayon na may pagka NC 40 to 45 sa MAC ha? so medyo talagang tan na ako nito, angat pa rin yung kulay niya. So, imagine that parang um, pwede nyo siyang everyday shade, pwede nyo siyang everyday color, and definitely kung maputi kayo, parang may pagka-dramatic siya, or pwede nyo ring going light application lang para lumabas yung kulay. Yung shade ni Angel for me, it's a vivid coral shade. It's a mix of peach and pink, pero not too vivid to the point na parang neon na yung dating. So, this actually brings freshness, yung parang summer lang yung vibe, and nakikita ko to na talagang babagay sa mga mapuputi kahit na yung medium shade, and definitely, of course, wearable kahit morena. May shade is actually kind of the subdued, deeper version of shade ni Angel, except na gamo ng brown or beige. So, makita mo talaga na parang may pagka-nude siya. It's not too bright, definitely. Hindi rin siya too deep. It's actually, you know, a really nice everyday shade. Yung shade ni Tony, this is a subdued peach na merong beige in it, pero mas nangingibabaw yung orange tones or yung warmth niya. So, this is actually kind of a, a peachy shade talaga on lighter skin complexion. And on the, uh, deeper skin tones, mas parang nagiging nude siya. Raff shade is actually kind of the counterpart ng shade ni Tony, pero make it raff. Make it pink. So, this is a cool toned pink. Yung, yung brightness ng pink niya, parang nakaka-fresh. Yung nakaka-parang, uy, ang, ang gaan ng itsura mo. Parang bridal yung effect. Parang ganun. Itong shade ni Lou, may pagka-terracota. Or yung brick yung shade. So, this is kind of a, parang an orange uh, lipstick na nilagyan mo ng konting brown, nilagyan mo ng konting red. Pero mas nangingibabaw yung warmth niya. So, definitely, this is something that you would want to wear if you want this parang uh, sun-kissed, sunburnt, yung parang rustic ang color. And if you want to go for this fall vibe. 
Yung shade ni Ashley for me is probably the most neutral shade in this collection in my experience. Because now that I have this very kind of warm foundation, dark foundation that I did all over my body, not all over my body, pero all over my arms and face, mas umangat yung pagiging cool tone niya. Or mas naging uh, pink siya. Pero if you have this parang cool tone, medyo parang pinkish, like my actual uh, skin tone, mas nagiging warmish, nourish pink siya. So, mas, you know, mas nagbe-blend siya. So, makikita mo talaga yung neutrality niya, yung beige tone niya with a hint of peach and rose or pink shade. Yung kay Hazel, it's more of like a medium to deep shade, but more of medium na may vividness to it. So, para siyang salmon pink, pero i-deepen mo lang siya ng konti. Or yung kay Angel na shade, i-deepen mo lang siya ng konti at lagyan mo ng konting brown. Last but definitely not the least kay Mommy Heidi. And this is actually a unique shade in this collection because it is a berry shade. Yung may pagka-cool tone pink. So this is not an intimidating shade for for especially, let's say, yung sa age bracket ni Mommy Heidi. Um, hindi siya intimidating na kulay. Pwede siyang pang everyday. Um, and, and still, it gives you um, life. It still gives you color because of the pink undertone. And so, yeah, this is actually the perfect shade for Mommy Heidi. Nakasubok na ako ng mga lipstick na it stays as it is. Kung ano yung shade niya, kapag nilagay mo sa iba-ibang skin tone, mag-iiba pa siya ng itsura, pero hindi naman totally mag-iiba yung kulay ng lipstick. But this lipstick, somehow, parang it magically adapts to skin tone and skin undertone. Um, so, it's really for you to experience it and let us know what you think and let us know your experience. Um, sobrang na-enjoy namin. Ako personally, na-enjoy ko yung mga review nyo sa Shopee or sa Lazada. Uh, so, yun, yun lang talaga masabi ko. Parang, grabe yung, yung pag adapt niya because sa akin, okay, this is, you know, from my experience, lalo na sa shade ko, it, it is a as you can see, it is an old rose shade. Pero pag nasa labi ko na siya minsan, pag natatapatan siya ng, ng ibang klaseng ilaw, nag-iiba siya, one thing's for sure, at buti na lang ay nagkasundo kaming lahat, lahat ng shades na to, hindi siya yung, yung putok. Hindi siya yung parang, makita mo yung pagiging muted nilang lahat, yung pagiging nude shade nilang lahat, making it wearable for everyone and for everyday use. Abangan nyo rin pala guys yung giveaway ko ng full collection. Ayan, ilalagay ko sa next video. Sana nakatulong yung video na to sa pagpili ng shades or kung talaga nahirapan kayo, post nyo na yung buong collection. Ilalagay ko yung links na yan on the description box below both um, sa Shopee and sa Lazada para kayo na ang pumili ko sa inyo mandibulin. And again, keep them coming yung feedback ninyo. I enjoy reading them sa Shopee and sa Lazada. Thank you so much for watching and once again guys, thank you so much for the support and I'll see your tags on Instagram so keep them coming. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the tutorial on the third part of this Powder Pout series.